In today's video, I'm going to discuss with you 10 things I wish I knew before I started DAS Studio. I'm going to get into the video right now. So back in December 2018, when I first downloaded DAS Studio, I was expecting to have high quality figures, high quality textures, a lot of clothing, a lot of hair, just a lot of everything. And how was I disappointed? You just get the basic stuff inside DAS Studio. So you get like two characters, Genesis 8, Genesis 3, a male and a female character. Those textures on those characters are very low quality. You get very low quality hair, so you get like two or three items of hair. That's all you get and they're very low quality. You get some poses to help you out. So there's a few preset poses that you can use to get you started. And then you get the wardrobe, which is the clothing. And that's very basic again as well in terms of very limited. You get a few items of clothing and they're very low quality as well in terms of textures. You also do get some backgrounds, however, so you get a few backgrounds to get you started as well. But again, those are very low quality as well. So when you download that studio for the first time, you're just going to get all kind of like basic stuff, which is very uh, low quality um, items and products like, to get you started. However, it's not all bad. Dash Studio is a free functional program, so you didn't actually have to pay anything for it. You didn't have to pay hundreds of pounds or dollars or whatever your currency is wherever you live watching this video. Um, you don't have to pay anything like that, it's fully free. So we have a very powerful software here with Dash Studio with the wonderful iRay render engine, which gives you these fantastic rendering results. So I'm gonna show you some up here that I've done recently. This is the kind of stuff you can expect to create once you understand how Dash Studio works and the power inside Dash Studio. So this is the kind of very cool stuff you can create with Dash Studio, your renders, your 3D digital art. Uh, also, there's a lot of other things you can do inside Dash Studio. So everything that we need is included inside Dash Studio. All the lights that we need, everything that we need in terms of depth of field. We can have all these wonderful special effects. It's all included in Dash Studio. We don't need to buy anything extra. So it's already inside. All we need to do is figure out how to use Dash Studio and that comes with time and practice. So moving swiftly on to step number two, you're going to have to buy additional content from either the DAS 3D store or the Renderosity store or from another third party website to make the most out of DAS Studio. And the reason why that is because as beginners, we have no idea how to create content. We don't know how to create clothing. We don't know how to create the figures. We don't know how to create props and backgrounds. We have no knowledge of this. So we end up buying these add-ons because that's the only way to use DAS Studio efficiently and effectively. So I just quickly want to explain how DAS 3 make their money. They give you the free product, which is the DAS Studio program. It's based on the freemium model. So they're going to push out that free software to you with this fully functional. Everything's there. But to really make the most of DAS Studio, you're going to have to buy these add-ons here. And that's how they make their money. So the vendors here, they create these products and they sell it on the DAS 3D website. They sell it on the Renderosity website. They sell it on a third party website, whatever that is. And that's how DAS 3D make their money. So they make it through selling these props and items and figures that you see here right on this page. So I'm going to quickly share with you my actual orders. The first thing I actually bought from DAS Studio. So I'm going to go to my orders here from the DAS 3 store here. And remember, I started this doing this December 2018. So I didn't buy anything for a while. So my first purchase was actually on the 16th of February uh, 2019. And that was my big first purchase there. $188 worth of stuff. And basically it was like it had a special offer going, which was with the Victoria 8 Pro bundle, I think it was. And a few other things. And I bought a lot of things. Now, what happened in this uh, this actual purchase here, I ended up buying a lot of things I didn't actually need. So as a beginner, what you're going to end up doing is you will probably end up buying a lot of things you don't really need. And uh, it's very important to, you know, ask somebody, find somebody that is knows a lot more about you from the DAS 3D store. Ask them the question and say, hey, do I need this? Uh, do I not need this? So it's really important for you to do that because I didn't know. I didn't ask anybody. I just went and purchased things. You can see here. Um, I'm purchasing a lot of things here. The price is going up. I'm purchasing almost uh, monthly, almost daily here, which is really good. 16th of uh, March here, 17th of March here, 20th of March. I think this is March Madness. So I think I'm just buying loads because a lot of special offers. But you can see I got addicted to it. I kept on spending and buying and spending and my bank balance was not happy. So again, word of warning, you can get addicted to buying from the Dash 3D store. Your bank balance won't be happy. If you have a spouse or somebody you live with, they're not going to be happy that you're spending a lot of money on this as well. So it can be addictive. So be very mindful when you're buying from the Dash 3D store that you don't get carried away like I did and spend a lot of money on things that you may only use once and then you're never going to use again. So be very mindful when you're buying things from the Dash 3D store. So the default render engine that comes with Dash Studio now is the NVIDIA IRA render engine. And what this render engine allows you to do is create some very realistic renders. So when I first started using Dash Studio in December 2018, my rendering times took forever to do. It took forever to render and I didn't know why. 
After a lot of research, I realized that the default rendering engine that comes with Dash Studio is now the NVIDIA IRA render engine. And as the name suggests, you need an NVIDIA graphics card to do the grunt work of rendering. If you do not have an NVIDIA graphics card, then it's going to default back to the CPU rendering regardless of what graphics card you have. You can have the most fantastic ATI Radeon graphics card in the world. If it doesn't have NVIDIA logo on it, it's not going to make a damn bit of difference. You're going to fall back to the CPU rendering, unfortunately. So I highly recommend that you go and get yourself and invest in an NVIDIA graphics card because you want your NVIDIA graphics card to do the GP rendering, which is going to definitely decrease your rendering times. Now, the reason why only uh, NVIDIA graphics cards work with the NVIDIA IRA render engine is because it makes sense. NVIDIA has spent a lot of money and time creating this wonderful rendering engine called IRA, and they're not going to let their rivals, ATI or any other graphics card company use that rendering engine because they've invested all that time money. They want you to buy the NVIDIA graphics card and use that because obviously they're making money when you buy the NVIDIA graphics card. So that, that makes business sense, it makes fiscal sense. So you may not like it, but that's the way the world of business works. Now that brings us on to number four, which is your first render will suck and it will not look anything like what you expect. So here is my first render here on the left. As you can see, this is the exact render, no false work, nothing to do with it. It's just exactly the way I created it. And this is what I expected it to look like on the right here. So I was expecting, hey, my render's gonna look like this on the right. So I put everything in like you do, you put your figure in, your character, you put clothes on, you put the hair on, you put the background on, you hit that render when you think it's gonna look awesome and it looked nothing like what I expected. And the reason why it didn't look anything like I expected was because I had no concept of how Dash Studio worked. I didn't understand how Dash Studio worked in terms of rendering and what are the elements that actually aid in the rendering process. So hopefully your first render will not look like this. It will look a way better because obviously you're using the tutorials that I've got on this lovely YouTube channel that's going to help you to not start from zero like I did. Hopefully you'll start from 20 or 30, which is going to be a way better for you and you're going to be closing that gap. So you're going to be starting on something a lot greater than I did and you're going to be boosting your confidence. You're going to be getting to creating those wonderful renders a lot quicker than I did on my journey. Which leads nicely on to number five, which is lighting and post work are your best friends. So one of the things I quickly realized was that lighting is one of the key elements inside Dash Studio for you to get those fantastic, amazing renders that you see everywhere on the internet. So I would focus your efforts on learning lighting inside Dash Studio because that is going to give you the best bang for buck in terms of having those wonderful renders that you desire. Now the second component of that is obviously post work. So when you're looking around on the internet, you're going to look and you're going to try and compare your renders to other people's renders. And what you don't realize is that those renders have actually had post work added onto them. So they've taken it into their favorite 48 software, whether that's Photoshop, whether it's Lightroom, whether it's GIMP, it doesn't matter what it is. They've taken it on there. They've added the filters that you can get inside there. I did a bit of magic, shall we say, and that's creating the wonderful renders that you can see before you. So if you want your renders to look amazing, focus on lighting. And then if you want a little bit of pizzazz on your renders, then I'd highly recommend learning some sort of photo editing software adding those filters and making your renders look even more amazing. So on to number six, Dash Studio is not a one-click solution. So when I started off with Dash Studio, I thought, hey, this is going to be easy. I'm going to put my character in there. I'm going to give it the clothes. I'm going to give it the hair. I'm going to get the background. I'm going to hit that lovely blue render button and it's going to look amazing. Now, obviously, that was not the case. However, there are some one-click solutions in the Dash 3D store and in the render store, such as light presets that are going to help you with your lighting. So these light presets are basically, you double click on a light preset, it will give you some wonderful settings and you can play through the, the settings like that. It's very easy to use. So that's gonna make, almost make it like a one click solution. There are also vendors out there now when they give you the props, they give you the actual render settings, uh, the exact render settings they use for the um, promo images. And that's gonna get you something very close to what they look like in the promo images. So again, almost turning into one click solution, but not quite. Now the cons of obviously using light presets or using the render settings that are given to you is that they are just for those products and props. You're not going to be able to always use those light presets for all the scenes you want to create, all the cre creative uh, renders you want to create. It's not always going to work. So I highly recommend that you actually learn what each of the dials do so you can actually manipulate those dials and create the render, the scene, the lighting, how you wish to do so. So it's going to give you more control over how to use Dash Studio and that's gonna make your renders look even more amazing. So on to number seven, learn the lingo. So to truly understand 3D and Dash Studio, you're gonna to have to learn the language of 3D and the language used inside Dash Studio. Because when you're asking for help on something and you say, hey, how do I do this? And then the person answering gives you a very complicated answer like, hey, these are the textures you need, these are the maps. It's gonna send your eyes glazed over. Look, you're gonna be like, what are you talking about? I don't understand what textures are, what maps are. 
So it's really important that you understand the basic language inside Dash Studio and 3D so you can get the most out of what you're trying to create in Dash Studio. So on to number eight, the documentation on Dash 3D is absolutely awful. So when you start using Dash Studio, the actual documentation on their website is outdated and doesn't really make much sense because of the terminology they use, the language they use. And if you're a beginner, you won't understand that and it just goes right over your head. So although on the YouTube channel, there is a Dash 3D channel there and there are some very basic videos there to help you, it's not enough. It's enough to get you started, but really you need more. And what happens is that Dash Studio kind of don't tell you everything for a reason. And I think the reason why they don't tell you everything because they want to sell you the tutorials. So they're going to give you the tutorials on the Dash 3D uh, website and say, hey, you want to learn about lighting, download this tutorial. And then obviously you're going to pay for that and that's how they're going to make the money. I think that's a bit tricky and sneaky from Dash 3D to not even at least attempt you with the lighting because the lighting is one of the key aspects of Dash Studio. They don't even cover that in the tutorial, which is really bad, which is the why I created this YouTube channel to help you with the lighting because I knew, hey, lighting is the key thing. And then we can work from there to dissect Dash Studio a bit more to, to give you the information you need so you can create the renders you want to create. So on to number nine, it takes time to learn Dash Studio. So if you were expecting to create really quick renders or something really quickly, it's not that straightforward. It actually takes time to learn Dash Studio. Just like with anything in life, the more time you spend doing it, the better you get at it. And one of the things that your advantage is that the brain that we all have is a learning machine. So if you understand that your brain is a learning machine, you can learn how to do anything. Again, it just takes time, effort and energy. And once you apply those three things, you can learn any skill. So it's very important that you understand that your brain is a learning machine. It can learn whatever you want it to learn. You have full control over that learning. So on to number 10, you can actually make money from Dash Studio. So one of the things I didn't know when I first started was you can actually make money from Dash Studio. I thought these vendors were like actually working for Dash 3D, but these people are not working for Dash 3D per se. They learned the skills, they acquired the skills, they knew about 3D modeling, they knew about uh, how to create clothing, and they learned all those skills and then decided to sell their products on the Dash 3D store for Dash Studio. So you can do that too. Now, obviously you need to learn about 3D modeling. You need to learn about how to create clothing. That comes in time. But if you already have those skills and knowledge, you can make a side income from that. So it is possible to make a side income. It takes um, a lot of time and effort to do that, but it is something that's viable. You can actually, you know, create a side income. You don't have to worry about your main job there. Like just getting that money from your main job. You can actually make your money from the side here and that's going to help supplement your income as well. So I think it's a great idea. If you've something you want to do, you want to look into create something like that. You want to have a side income, then yeah, go ahead and do that. You can do that. It's not as difficult as it looks. And obviously this channel here will be helping you to do that as well. So there you go, those are 10 things I wish I knew before I started Dash Studio. Hopefully this information will help you if you're a beginner or thinking about using Dash Studio or you're already on your journey and maybe something you need to cover to accelerate your progress. Now those of you that have been using Dash Studio for a while, maybe you want to leave a comment down below to let other people know something that I wish you knew before you started Dash Studio to help out everybody else who will read the comments down below. And don't forget to hit that like button as well. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well so you don't miss out any more cool videos. And don't forget to check out these videos over here. They're going to help you on your journey. And having said that, I'll see you in next week's video.